Hi, Collective. This is your collective reading for November 2023. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for Collective and their partner for November 2023. In love. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the Collective and their partner for November 2023. In love, universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the collective and their partner for November 2023. In love, show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, collective, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner, and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you, and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Collective, this is you. This is your partner. So, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For November 2023, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner collective is the Three of Wands. Aries, Leora, Sag, this is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So listen, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that your ships are here. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. Clarify the three of wands for the collective and their partner. Clarify the three of wands for the collective and their partner. Clarify the three of wands for the collective and their partner. It is clarified with the Five of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things panned out in the relationship. So listen, you can tell me that you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. You know, I hope that someone wasn't left waiting here. They're hurt, they're mourning, they're disappointed because they were left waiting. Someone could be hurt, mourning, and disappointed because the other person is looking to see what else is out there. Someone could tell me that they're feeling remorse and regret for the part that they played, that they were looking to see what else is out there while they're in a relationship. Someone could be disappointed that they couldn't travel here or there's distance. Collective, you have the Page of Cups. You have the Magician. You have the Emperor. Your partner has the Four of Wands. Your partner has the Five of Pentacles. And your partner has the Empress. So... The mutual point of interest between you and your partner collective is like I said, I hope someone's not hurt, mourning, and disappointed because they were left waiting. You know, I hope they aren't hurt, mourning, disappointed because there's distance or couldn't travel. You know, it could be hurt that someone is looking to see what else is out there, but someone could also be feeling remorse and regret for keeping someone waiting or for looking to see what else is out there. We'll see. Collective, you have the page of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. 
So now you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for the collective. Clarify the page of cups for the collective. Clarify the page of cups for the collective. It is clarified with the King of Wands, Aries, Leo or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the King of Wands for the collective. Clarify the King of Wands for the collective. Clarify the King of Wands for the collective. It is clarified with the Two of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So listen, collective, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Now listen, you can tell me that there was some type of good news coming in concerning an agreement and you were ready to take action here. Or it's you wanting to take action because you realize this person is your soulmate. Very well could be you wanting to come in to apologize here. They could also be apologizing to you, but it's up to you whether or not you accept. I hope someone wasn't stood up. Listen, you have the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the water element, the earth element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So you can tell me that you're dealing with an Aquarius. However, you can tell me that you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for the collective. Clarify the magician for the collective. Clarify the magician for the collective. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So, collective, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally, but when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment, and oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So you can tell me that you're walking away or you're returning. Now, you can tell me that you're trying to manifest just walking away from the situation. Hmm. However, you can tell me that you're trying to manifest returning because it could be you apologizing to them. Yes. However, you can tell me that you're man trying to manifest them returning. Hmm. I just want to know if you're going or staying. I just want to know if someone left someone hanging. Listen, you have the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with this Aries or Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with here. Clarify the emperor for the collective. Clarify the emperor for the collective. Clarify the emperor for the collective. It is clarified with the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. 
She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So listen, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for the collective. Clarify the high priestess for the collective. Clarify the high priestess for the collective. It is clarified with this queen of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the Queen of Wands for the collective. Clarify the Queen of Wands for the collective. Clarify the Queen of Wands for the collective. It is clarified with the seven of wands, Aries, Leora Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense, but this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So you can tell me that you're standoff is shunning and setting boundaries with this person, or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense. At any rate, you're taking some type of action. Now, you can tell me that you don't even want to talk to them. You want to leave the situation. Your standoff is shunning and setting boundaries. I don't care how you apologize. I just don't care. Yes, you my babe. I feel some type of way, but you disappointed me. You could also tell me that you're using your intuition that you need to take action to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse to defense. And it could be you coming in to apologize, trying to manifest a return, you to them or, you know, them to you. You want to return here. So apology because you realize that this is your babe. So thus far, this reading could be vice versa. Someone has some explaining to do. It seems like some type of disappointed plans here. It seems like someone was left hanging. Someone was stood up here. Someone was let down here. Oh, boy. Your partner has the four of wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So this can be about your partner's foundation, their stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Clarify the four of wands for the collective's partner. Clarify the four of wands for the collective's partner. Clarify the four of wands for the collective's partner. It is clarified with the ace of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So listen, your partner could tell me that you guys are having this communication. Your partner could tell me that they've come into some truth and clarity. Your partner could tell me that they're making a decision or using this sword to sever. So concerning some type of some type of celebration, I, like I said, I feel like someone was stood up or let down or left hanging. Some type of celebration or a commitment or leveling up. You guys very well could have had this conversation about it. You know, your partner could tell me that they've come into some truth and clarity concerning it. Your partner could tell me that they're making a decision concerning it. Hmm. Hmm. Your partner has the five of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. 
this could be a breakup. So listen, your partner can tell me that there's something going on financially, maybe some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Clarify the five of pentacles for the collective's partner. Clarify the five of pentacles for the collective's partner. Clarify the five of pentacles for the collective's partner. It is clarified with the seven of pentacles. Oh gosh. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner waiting. And in this wait, they're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. They're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not they want to continue to invest, whether they want to reinvest. They're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of your partner looking at their coins, their harvest, their bank account, looking at how much they have and how much they have to invest could be waiting on money. So listen, your partner could tell me that they're waiting on money, looking at their coins, looking at their bank account. Your partner could tell me that they're waiting. Your partner could tell me that they're waiting, contemplating and debating on whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. You know, your partner could tell me that they're looking at their coins and there's some type of financial lack. I don't know if they didn't have money to bring to this celebration or this party. Your partner could tell me that they feel left out of the cold in the cold because you left them waiting. Like, listen, is this your partner? Do you have some explaining to do? Is this your partner being left waiting? Left out at a distance? Hurt, mourning, disappointed? I, I want to know because it seems like I'm waiting. I feel left out in the cold. My finances, I'm looking at my money. I just can't, I don't know. Your partner could also tell me that you guys broke up and they're still waiting. Your partner could tell me that, you know, they're asking themselves whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship after some type of breakup. But goodness, I hope you didn't leave them waiting. I hope you didn't leave them hanging. Your partner has the empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. But the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now, this can be about your partner's abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the empress for the collective's partner. Clarify the empress for the collective's partner. Clarify the empress for the collective's partner. It is clarified with the ace of wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So listen, your partner could tell me that they have the spark of a new idea, could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. You know, your partner could tell me, I want to start up over. I want us to nurture this relationship further. I want us to have a passionate new beginning. Your partner could tell me that there was some type of heated discussion or argument here. Concerning maybe nurturing the relationship further because it seems like we're not on the same page. It seems like someone was left hanging here. There's some type of disappointment. You know, I was expecting something. There's a disappointment that I was left waiting here. I'm hurt about the situation. I'm going to tell you that this reading could be vice versa. You know, it very well could be their fault. You could be done with them because they left you disappointed and waiting. But there is some type of disappointment here. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you guys. And this is just additional messages here. Hmm. Please. 
You mean to tell me I can't come to the celebration because I can't bring something or what? I, why do I feel left out? I feel left out here. Listen, children, young, childful, I meant childhood, playful. Children, young, childhood, playful. <sighs> left out of it. What else for the collective? What else? For the collective and their partner. Hmm. Meeting. Two or more people. Discussions and planning. Meeting. Two or more people. Discussions and planning. It just seems like someone was left out of this meeting. This discussion. This planning. This family, youthful, children, playful celebration situation that's going on here. Hi, if you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. This is your collective reading for November 2023. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.